ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another edition Down the Waterhole Retreats Art Truck. Today, we're going to be taking a look at another Gatorade. Are you surprised by this yet? Nope. Good. I'm not surprised as well. Two awesome bottles on Keith, but I'm going to see. Uh, let's take a peek. I'll take this one. Yeah, why not? Today, on this Down the Waterhole so today, we're going to review Strawberry Watermelons. Now, Strawberry, everyone knows, is a good, is a traditional favorite berry. Watermelon is associated with a stereotype. Yep, a stereotype that people would love to crucify me for, and it kind of gets a bit old when you realize it. But anyway, today we're just going to be taking a look at this one. I'm kind of curious. It's Gatorade. So usually, so far we've had three Gatorades. We've reviewed the Cool Blue, the Gla the Cool Blue, the Glacier Freeze, and the and the. Um, and the truck and the mango, which was pretty good, all high rates. So I wonder if this is actually pretty good too. Contains 80 calories, so hopefully this will be good. Anyway, let's open up this bad boy and see what we got here. Now I'm hoping this is. Hello. Yep, it smells like strawberries. Artificial strawberries. Let's see, is it artificial strawberries or real strawberries? Let's see, it is. Yep, artificial. I love artificial strawberry taste. So uh, let's, let's kind of do this. I want to get some rush. Let's just this is a strawberry watermelon. Interesting. Mm. Mm. Yeah, this is definitely a lot different than I was expecting. To be honest. Yeah, I'm definitely liking this one. This is definitely a lot different than I was expecting. It's got a light strawberry taste, but it's got a sort of a kick. It's got a strawberry taste, but it's been mellow, but it's been intrigued by this kick. I like this kick. Yeah, I do like this kick a lot. Yeah, anyway. Let's get on with it. It's a 4 out of 5 for the streak. I like it. It's a nice, it not only quenches my thirst, it's a lovely strawberry mix. Strawberry products have not gone wrong. I'm surprised the watermelon's been the surprise factor, but hey, Gatorade so far has had a nice smooth sailing. I've so far not had one crap product, and that's going to be a good thing. Although I will have to mention that the, the combos is going to be the unique thing. That's probably going to be the next likely review to post up as another combo. I already tried the pepperoni pizza and the oh, nacho cheese. Nacho cheese was a bit salty, but then again it was a pretzel. I'm looking forward to what they are offering. So, that's it for another just down the waterhole. Until next time, dear viewers, bye for now.